Is your nearest hospital a Catholic institution? If you live in Alaska, Iowa, Washington, Wisconsin, or South Dakota, there's a good chance it is. More than 40% of acute care beds in those five states are Catholic-owned or affiliated, according to Merger Watch, an organization that tracks hospital mergers. It's a growing trend all over the country. In 2001, the largest Catholic healthcare systems controlled 259 hospitals. By 2016, they controlled 384. As U.S. hospitals are struggling, more and more are merging with Catholic institutions. Now, one in every six hospital beds is in a Catholic-owned or affiliated facility. For many, that means certain treatments, specifically in relation to reproduction and end-of-life care, aren't available at the closest facility. What's more, there are 45 Catholic hospitals that are the only option for miles around, meaning patients without resources to travel? Well, they won't be able to get those treatments, even if their health depends on it. And they may not realize until it's too late. More and more hospitals across the country are affiliated with the Catholic health system, but patients don't always know what that means. So what does Catholic healthcare actually look like? 